Hi, and welcome to a mnemonic story about systemic juvenile idiopathic arthritis. So I'm going to be making more and more clinically oriented uh, videos as part of the Clinically Simple series. So if you like these kind of videos, please like, uh, comment and please subscribe. So bef uh, without further ado, let's get started. So what is systemic juvenile idiopathic arthritis? This is a childhood arthritis. Um, so it's a childhood arthritis commonly seen in either under 12 year olds. So this is the thing, um, in USMLE, it's under 12 years old. But um, according to UK and even in the PLAB, um, it typically presents as a 16 year old boy, um, a 16 year old boy or younger. So a younger than 16 year old boy who is presenting. Um, and this juvenile, meaning, you know, in the youth, it occurs with these children. Idiopathic um, ca cause might not be known and arthritis. OK, so what does a 16 year old boy present with? Before I get into the mnemonic, which will literally simplify your life. Um, let's talk about the presentation, the clinically, the clinical presentation of these boys. So it's typically a 16 year old boy and presents with daily fever. So it presents with daily fever and arthritis. And this arthritis might commonly be in two or more joints. OK, let's get into the mnemonic because that will simplify a lot of things and tell you more about the systemic side effects of this juvenile idiopathic arthritis. OK, late Jude ate a hot salmon. The next day, his abdomen was salmon pink, his eyes were salmon pink and his knees were salmon pink. So this is Jude. He's our younger than 16. So he's our 15 year old boy. He's presenting with. Um, so he, it says late Jude, and I'll come back to what the late mnemonic stands for over here. And w w so Jude should remind you that this occurs in juvenile idiopathic arthritis. And he ate a hot salmon. The hot salmon indicates that these patients typically present with fever. Um, and not just fever, but a daily spiking fever, a daily spiking fever. And they have this salmon macular papular rash, this salmon macular rash, okay? So they present that when I say his abdomen was salmon pink, that's what I mean, a salmon macular rash. So he eats a salmon. This is my, um, this is a hot salmon here. The, the hot should remind you of the fever. This, these patients typically present with fever. And the salmon should remind you of the salmon pink, salmon pink color of the macular rash. His eyes were salmon pink. Remember pink or redness as anything that has itis at the end of it. Inflammation, remember, is redness or pink. So here, remember his eyes, there are three things that are happening here. He's getting a macular rash. The salmon pink eyes should remind you that these patients get uveitis and a sam salmon pink knees, knees, more than one joint involvement, salmon pink knees, this might represent arthritis. Well, this does represent arthritis. These patients always present with arthritis. So for any clinical purposes, your most important thing is a young boy that presents with a daily fever and arthritis, done. Obviously, they're not done, but, you know, that's those are the basics you need. The key takeaway here is a young boy presenting with daily fever and arthritis as well. Now, why is Jade Jude late? Because he has these things. He has leukocytosis, L4 leukocytosis, A for anemia, T for thrombocytosis, and finally, E for a raised ESR. In my rheumatoid arthritis video, I explained how these lab values, ESR, 
and by the way, when it, whenever ESR also CRP, when how I explained in my other video how these lab values are indicators for inflammation. Your treatment would involve NSAIDs, steroids, methotrexate, as we discussed, sim very, very similar, the same as actually um, the uh, rheumatoid arthritis video. Okay, so remember, just remember, when it's juvenile idiopathic arthritis, it's late Jude who ate a hot salmon, and the next day he had all of these crazy symptoms, okay? If you like this mnemonic, please uh, subscribe or like and leave a comment. Thank you so much.